Hey guys, I'm Jandis on occasion, and today, more Oleg the Everchosen campaign. This isn't Oleg, this is our new guy, Varancha Soul Thief. He's been, he's been thieving souls for us. I know, what a lad. Um, so he did just win a big old battle against the dwarves, which was a fun one. I enjoyed that battle. It was a good battle. Now let's buff his boys so they're uh, more boisterous boys. And also, maybe Hammer and Anvil might be good. We'll probably get him some cavalry at some point, won't we? Or will we? Are we maybe, because of his uh, his obsession with stealing souls, maybe we should give him uh, more monster stuff. You know, have a bit more sort of mutation and things represented uh, in his army. It might be worth doing a bit of demon stuff too, to be honest. Um, because yeah, like chaos and like stealing. Souls and things. Usually, there's some there's some nonsense going on um, there. If you're going to take them uh, violently, it's going to cause a bunch of mutation and crazy nonsense. So yeah, I think we're monstrous strength. Okay, just because of his moniker, that that name is going to guide me um, through what we're doing. Oh yeah, and get um, demon princes. I do love that they've done this. I I just adore it. I really do. I really love how they've done chaos warriors. I still think with uh, upgrades. With these upgrades, I still think there should be a small chance for something insane to happen. Like, if you're trying to go from like here to here, they just turn into a Chaos Spawn, you know? I, j I really do think there should be some degree of that. Maybe it could be a chance, depending on how much authority you have. You know, maybe the more authority, you can mitigate that, so you're like higher level, you know, warlords get to do that more often, but it also m might mean you've got quite a high level guy, maybe you don't want to risk you know, the upgrade, if it means they might turn to a Chaos Spawn, you know? Um, it might have some other things that it hinges on. I do kind of like the predictability of that, like, that's fine, but I do also like the randomness. You know, I did mention the Realm of Chaos books, uh, I think last episode. Uh, and how, like, there's a bunch of, like, undead in there, right? Like, it was a crazy time. And, in those systems, if you were trying to reach Demonhood, you know, reach Demon Prince, uh, level, you know, you got enough um, gifts from Chaos and they, uh, you, you roll a dice and then their eyes are on you to see if you're worthy or not, right? There's a chance they can go, oh, no, you're too mutated and you just turn into a, a, a gibbering lunatic and you just become a Chaos Spawn in someone else's warband. Um, so, you know, it's pretty cool, but there is a chance you could become a Demon Prince. But it really depends on how many how many gifts you've been given. It was very cool, very cool system. You know, the more mutated you are, the more you risk just turning into some gibbering lunatic. And I think that should apply to everybody. I think that'd be really fun. Well, maybe not the Lords. I think that's too big an investment just to lose um, in a game like Total War that is fairly, like, you know... The random elements can be more frustrating than anything else. You know, I, I, I like that it kind of takes an average of the effects of things. Just, uh, you know put a line down the middle. I kind of like that. I think if I went, oh, let's devote to someone, and then they suddenly, like, we lost the character, I think that would be annoying. And characters are too big an investment to, like, play about with. But uh, the odd unit, you lose units all the time. I think that would be funny. <laughs> so, you know, I'd love to see that. But it would definitely be contentious. Um, what are we going to give this guy? I mean, it does say he's humongous, right? Maybe that could be reflected in... It could be reflected more damage, or it could be reflected in more armor. And again, I'm just going by their names. I'm just going by their names. Which, honestly, I think is a nice way to inject some uh, personality into them. Um, and I think we can de we might devote him to corn at some point, though. Or will we? Maybe I'll just keep him undivided. I want some to corn, some undivided. Like, I don't want to give up on undivided guys completely. Let's just give him some random stuff, because... Because uh, it can. What's the Blasphemous Amulet? Oh, magic attacks for nearby boys. That's kind of fun. All right, we'll do that. Uh, we don't have any armor for him, though. We have, like, no armor. It's good I gave him the plus 10 armor with the skill point, really, isn't it? Um, so anyway, we've leveled him up. Now, Moxia Skyon Slayer. Let's give him... Uh, ugh, it's, I'm tempted to give him a higher level Infernal Gateway, but also Magical Reserves just means he can cast more magic, which I kind of like. He's got a few different spells, so we can... Um, sort of bounce back and forth a bit. And then Jaeger, who is our corn boy, who I think was the one that ran away. I think he was the one that got beaten up and ran away, which is pretty funny. Uh, Gladiator, gotta be, right? He's just gonna be selfish in his damage dealing. Training would be good, but no, he's been more selfish than that. 
Good. All right, I think that's fun. Also, we're raiding. Uh, oh, yeah, we are raiding enemy territory. There will probably be friendly territory in a minute. I say friendly. Friendly-ish. You know, it'll be it'll be as easy. Damned prince is damned no longer. And he's probably... He doesn't like that we've been trespassing and raiding his vassal. He does not like that. So he may end up at odds with him, which I find really funny. The fact he was all like, yeah, let's do this war against the dwarves. Yes. And then we both muck in and bite the dwarves. Um, and then he gets jealous. Of course. Because <laughs> if anyone is going to get really jealous, um, it's going to be it's going to be a Slaneshi. You know, it's going to be. It's going to be. So what I might actually do here is go into a camp start so I can get some um, replenishment. Because at some point, he's probably going to take this last settlement of the dwarves. And um, we're just going to be trespassing the whole way. So I may want to fight him. Uh, we also need to be a bit careful. Uh, Nostradamus might not be able to compete with Boris. And yeah, there's Boris. We're going to need to bring him over if we want to keep this guy alive, I think. Let's do a military alliance. He can give me more money. Well, favor. Because I want to see what he's doing. Ooh, also, he's only got three settlements left. He's going to get wiped out pretty soon, actually. Because there's not really any stopping these two armies. For him, at least. And that's a bit upsetting. Uh, so Archaon might need to make a new army here to deal with these guys. It's hard to say. I'm actually not sure. I think what we will do first, though, is we're going to do another quest battle. Which one is this going to be? Armor of Mor uh, Morkar. Let's do that. First ever chosen. Let's steal his armor. Which, you know, I did... I mean, I did say um, that in, at the end of the last campaign, uh, he just took all of Archaon swag, but maybe he needs to prove that he's worthy of, of carrying it, or maybe these are literally just flashbacks of when Archaon um, earned this stuff, you know, and like history is repeating, which is a bit sus, you know, it's a bit it's a bit iffy if Oleg seems to have like history repeating, does that mean he's going to end up doomed in the same way that Archaon was in the last campaign, you know? That's the sort of the sort of games that Chaos would play. So the Realm of Chaos plays fast and loose with the concept of time. Once a devout Templar priest of Sigma, Archaon searched ancient texts for the means to destroy Chaos, but is exposed to a terrible truth. It just said uh, uh, Sigma sucks lol in one of the in one of the Bibles. You know, well, not a Bible, is it? It's a you know, whatever the Book of Sigma. I think I think it might just be called the Book of Sigma. I think if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, but anyway. Uh, Archeon searched ancient texts for means to destroy chaos, but was exposed to a terrible truth. Rejecting his former gods, he swore himself to the service of the Dark Masters instead. He had also discovered scrolls detailing several artifacts of power, and a great warrior who used them to gain the blessing of all the ruinous powers. Archeon vowed to become this man. Thus, he must travel to a monolith in the Chaos Wastes, raised to the glory of a Chaos Champion, where the twisted ground is littered with the skulls from whence screams of malice arise, a challenger comes. Oh, hi. Hi. Well, you seem to be inside the dragon. That's chaos for you. Um, okay, this is going to be... Ooh, a lot of chaos knights again. Though, honestly, we kind of just decked all the chaos knights last time. It wasn't a problem. Um, I think we can probably do just as well this time. And, oh, look at the little, little marauders. Oh, they're going to be marauding. Are you marauding? They're marauding. All right, let's fight them. go. Right, so we've got um, knights and such. I'm wondering what they have in terms of magic. And hey, check it out. Moxia, looking stylish. Very stylish. Uh, and, uh, and and Harold, looking ham, hammy. 
Hammy the Hambler. That's what they call him. That's what I'm going to call him. <laughs> Alright, everyone in. Everybody in. Look at that jump. Oh, I'm a Chaos Lord. <laughs> I'm in the sky. Loser. Alright, let's go mess him up. It's not like anyone can help him. Up in the sky, you know. I can just keep spirit leeching him. Uh, can I help with anything else? I mean, blue fire, that's the... That is the... Zappity zap, right? That is the zappity zap. Yeah, I'll zap him with this. In a minute. Oh, hello. Hello there. Alright, you guys. I'm going to have to make sure you're in a different group. Alright, blue fire. And you know what? Throw down one of these two. No, what are you doing? For, oh, for God's sake, he's a locked group. It's alright, we're fine. That's hilarious. Let's hit one of these. Oh my God, locked groups are so stupid nowadays. But hey, we're doing alright over here. We're doing all right. I don't want to get over here, though. Oh, you know what? He's probably going to die anyway. I think we're fine. Oh, we didn't get the charge off. It's a bit sad, but it looks like we're doing fine. Uh, yeah, we've almost killed him. Excellent. All right, and now you can start bombing yourself. In fact, keep chasing him. With maybe spell mastery and throw a fireball. I don't know if a fireball will do more damage as a result of that. That could be pretty cool. <laughs> that Marauders. It is! Oh, I need a Marauders. Yeah, he's shattered. Good. What a pretender. Uh, so this is all a bit of a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? Alright, Archeon's getting some kills. I do more damage to the random Chaos Warriors, I suppose. Alright, let's get you over here. Yeah, this is uh, busy, but our Chaos Warriors with Halberds are fighting all of this stuff off. And it's honestly pretty amazing. Uh, how do you have such a tiny amount of magic? Like, I want another big... Big magic, is what I want. Another big magic. Wow, they're actually, like... Everything here is losing. It's very good. Oh, no, they're still fighting. They're still fighting. Alright, let's get you out of there. Right, let's bring you guys over here. Let's bring you over to Archeon. Oh, you could glean magic from someone, right? What can I glean magic from? You can use, you can use it like that. Oh, you can use it on a spellcaster. So you can use it on Archeon, then. Nope. I have no idea. I can't go to look into detail on that. Oh, more enemies are on their way back. Those cheeky gits. Alright, let's get you over here. And I really do need to get in here and hit these guys with something. There's a lot going on. But our guys are holding out amazingly. I don't understand how they haven't taken more damage, frankly. Because by all, all accounts, they should have taken a lot more damage than this. <laughs> like, I, I don't know how we're holding. Although, our um, Knights of Corn here are struggling somewhat. Alright, let's hit these guys. Alright, and then you can... Uh, Give everyone a little, a little boost. Guys, get Spirit Leech on those Chaos Knights. Harold's having a good time, just running around shouting his own name. <laughs> just in case he forgets it. He's basically Chaos Pikachu. And yeah, we've had our Knights just stuck in here this whole time. and They're fine. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about enemy chaos. Like, they just, they can't hold up. I know we have campaign bonuses as a result of our chaos, but it just seems like so extraordinary. How we had like a couple units of knights, a couple units of halberds against like eight units of knights and barely a scratch on us. And like we were surrounded and a couple units of forsaken ran in as well. Like there's so much stuff that came in here. And yet we just, just sat tight. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Fantastic. I mean, it certainly helps that um, we have heavy armor, 
and anti-large and armor piercing. They're armored. They don't have armor piercing. We have more armor than normal because we have armor bonuses, and we also have melee defense bonuses, so it's very hard to hit us. Like, you know, I I get that we have advantages, right? I'm not doubting that. It's just, it seems remarkable how far those advantages seem to be stretching for us. It's It's rather wonderful. All right, well, there we have it. They got wrecked. Um, give me my armor. Even my little warriors survived. There's not so well. Uh, let's get... I get replenishment immediately. I know we are going to get a bunch of additional replenishment. Uh, I'll make 500 souls. It does feel nice to sacrifice these guys, doesn't it? Yeah, screw it. I'm going to sacrifice them. And the armor of Morkar. So that's extra undivided authority, plus two for the army. So this can be some nice little discounts and things. Also an extra six melee defense, 12 armor. The ability armor of Morkar gives um, a big melee defense and charge reflection bonus to nearby allies, which is very cool. I thought it was just for um, just for, for Oleg. I was going to call him that. I was going to call him like Ar Arcanaut? Arca I don't know, something. Something weird. Some other stupid name. But no, his name's Oleg. It's always been Oleg. So, um, yeah. And uh, hero success chance down. Melee defense up. Just brought... Like, big ward save. 10%. Really good. Really good armor. So it once belonged to the first ever chosen of Chaos. His ancient suit of Chaos armor is as powerful as those who have dared to bear it. And we've got the Summoners of Rage regiments of renown. I enjoyed them. Uh, that might be a fun little reward for uh, this guy, actually. Because he's got room in his army. Uh, a lot of allied recruitment from Karnath's sons. Might be nice to get him some corn things from his allies. Um, and yeah, I guess we can't get um, Regiment's Renown in the camp stance. That would, that would drag. Uh, I would have liked to... I don't know, I'm wondering, do I want to go over here or not? Nah, nah I'm going to leave it. Um, I think I am going to get some allied recruitment, though. The fact we can get, like, Chaos Warriors of Corn. I mean, the Marauders look really great. Marauders of Corn. There's so much more flair. As soon as they dedicate themselves to a god, they immediately find, like, spiked hats. It's great. So, let's get... I think Jewel Weapons is the most... corny. Yeah, so I'll do that. We'll try and get some more from our allies. Uh, we've got to wait for allegiance, obviously, but I'll try and save up. I'll give him a full contingent of allied corn stuff, and then he can start going more corn with his own things as well. I know, some of his rage aren't necessarily, but they're very rage-filled. You know, the lightning really comes from their association with the mountain rather than, you know, magic. It's like an innate, natural thing rather than, like, you know, being all magical. They're just sort of a conduit for lightning, you know, channeled through their anger. It feels pretty corn. Cool. feels pretty corn. Cool. Uh, I'm so angry there's lightning, rather than like, oh, I'm a wizard. <laughs> you know, it's pretty good. So anyway, uh, some marauders walk openly within the lands of other races, not seen as a threat, but as a northern foreigner, a barbarian, but they are wrong. He is a threat. I do do enjoy that. This also is a is a nod to a lot of the, a lot of the fluff. Um, you know, the people of Norska, they are just people. They aren't, you know, although they're seen as having these weird gods, they're not necessarily seen as chaos worshippers. A lot of them do come down and trade, like in various port towns, you know, they'll they'll rock in with their longships and trade, like furs and things, when they're not at war. They just have bouts of, of raiding um, different coastal settlements and things. And sometimes they'll do some raiding and then they'll go to a port town and try and flog their ill-gotten gains. But, you know, they're um, they're still seen as people with similar, similar vibe as, as sort of any other sort of foreign human. They might show up with their, you know, strange languages and things. So let's see, Realm of Chaos plays fast and loose? Yes, yes it does. And so do I. Uh, I can't quite reach you. Yeah, that's a shame. So I've got I've to figure out what I'm doing with uh, with old Oleg. Because I think we do need to stop Boris. I think we do need to stop Boris. I kind of want to... I kind of want to best Scarbrand, though. I do want to best Scarbrand. And I did just start a fight with these guys. Basically, I need to get another army, which I can't afford. I'm, I'm rolling in, in money right now. But I need to get another army. Um, so I need to get another army. I think maybe I get another one over here to fight these jerks. And then I can have... Oh, that have Archeon run across like half the map. 
to get over here. I don't think he's going to get here in time. I might just need to make a new army and just start trying to hold off Boris. You know, just play defensively, but also play defensively like four our guys, you know, just have our own armies in ambush nearby, you know, just try and try and catch out his armies while he's headed to, um, oh, all right, he's already been wrecking Black Gulch, so our outpost hasn't really held out very well. Oh, this is a problem. I mean, I guess I do have this army, don't I? So, I mean, you could just start heading south. That works, doesn't it? Oh, look, I've gained some additional distance. Excellent. All right, now let's get our allied... Oh, and actually, we can get regiments around here. It's not in enemy territory. I was thinking about getting the summoners of rage. Um, I can say, is there no corn stuff? There is. There's the hounds that he had before. I don't want the summoners of rage. I think I do, don't I? I think I do. And now we're going to have to get rid of someone. Let's just merge you two. And I mean, we could get more flesh hands. Get more of the horsemen of corn with throwing axes. That'd be much better in melee. But no, I think I think I just want some hardy chaos warriors with dual weapons, like big armor, big infantry killing. All right. Good. So that's all fine. Now let's spend a bunch of our money on upgrades. And uh, I guess Oleg can carry on um, just conquering whatever, whatever he's near. Alright, everyone else. Our allies can suck it, alright? If they get killed because we haven't gone to help them, then they were not good allies in the first place, were they? You know, what was the point? What was the point of them if they can't even fight off old Boris? You know, Boris, who had to flee the chaos wastes, right, and flee back to his the protection of his daughter, right, and then Oleg had to go and conquer the chaos wastes. Yeah, not Boris, no, no, Oleg. So uh, let's have a look. It's that same time again, isn't it? You know, devoted to chaos. Let's go with that one. Get more souls, um, and then we can start probably getting some spells with him, because I do want some more reliable spells. Yeah, you know, with him, like a purple sun or something. Just some big show stopping spells I can just drop on top of people. I mean I do kind of have that with um with the infernal gateway, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That spellcaster might run off and, and join a different army soon. Become our spy slash advisor slash probably traitor, because you know what they're like. Um let's get more training. Oh, you leveled up twice. Well, la di da. Uh, let's get Blade Shield. And Harold Hammerstorm. Okay, you can get some of this stuff. It's it's a bit sad that he has to choose between these things. I almost feel like he should get the exception and just be able to get all of these bonuses. Because why the hell not? It's Harold Hammerstorm, you know? Uh, everyone gets flaming attacks? I mean, Perfect Vigor's pretty rad. I think everyone getting flame, uh, flaming attacks. Dead Slayer. A lifeless object, alive, awaiting reprisal. Death will be their acquittance. So, uh, leadership, up for the army, fighting undead. Uh, vigor loss reduction, plus 20%, just broadly, not even fighting undead, just generally. And flaming attacks for everybody too, it's really cool. Really, really nice. He's got two more levels. Christ, you level up quickly, don't you, boy? Um, missile resistance doesn't really matter when he's already on, um, on foot. He's quite hard to hit. I mean, do I want him to be a chaos gladiator? Does he need to be a strategist or commander? No, he just lives for a single purpose, to, to kill. To kill the dead. I know, it's confusing. Uh, more armor. More aura. Magical attacks and weapon strength sound good. So there we go. Alright, we're going selfish killing while having a bunch of bonuses that help out the rest of the army too. You know, he's inspiring in how he just slaughters. Aren't you, boy? Yeah, you are. Okay. So... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna push through these guys. Also, I think I know what the hell are you? Oh, hello. The blessed dread are here, and they are also at war with Slanesh. Interesting. Ah, huh. village has taken over this area. Uh, I think these guys might kind of already be toast. Then actually, I think they might already be toast. I think I might go fight Scarbrand. Oh, I might pick a fight with these guys too. Because they stole my prey. 
Am I just going to pick a fight with everyone and never be able to get anywhere near Boris? I'm like, my plan is to go to Kislev. I'm getting further and further away. But if I move up and around, you see, I could actually just do the whole of Norsk. <laughs> which is kind of what I was doing before I ran all the way over here. My god, Oleg is well-traveled, okay? I'll put it that way. He is well-traveled. Okay, let's have a look at what else we can do. So we have another thingamajig. Um, and let's go right to the bottom to see what we've got. I think, yes, we do. We do have um, Hell uh, uh, hell Cannon. Stuff unlocked. So that's nice. We also have this thing, which gives a huge extra experience to Chaos Warriors, Chosen, Chaos Knights, Inspiring Champions. Um, it makes Chaos Marauders cheap. They don't get any replenishment, and they become expendable, uh, which is a bit iffy. It's good and bad. This is something really good when you have already got a bunch of armies upgraded, or if you have good enough recruitment options that you never need to bother with uh, Marauders again. You know? Because that way you can either just get a bunch of Marauders just to throw away if you just need them as a one-off because an army just appeared out of nowhere, and you've got a big pool of Marauders, you can just get all of them and then throw them away when you're done. But it means that you get extra experience for all the you know, more advanced stuff that you want to carry on upgrading. So, you know, that's kind of cool. But I don't think we're there yet. Where we are there is um, Hell Cannon time. We're at Hell Cannon time. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Path to Glory available. I'm sure there's plenty. Do I want to do any of these? Not yet. That is humongous. I think devoting to Nurgle would be kind of cool. It does fit the whole humongous name. But I did say, maybe I'll just keep him undivided. I really don't know yet. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where the mood takes us. Scarbrand, fight me. No, he wants military access. How about no? How about no? He's so desperate to be friends with us. Okay, faction destroyed. Yeah, ancestral throng are gone. Now we'll just do a bunch of trespassing. Uh, so we can keep uh, Kraka Ornsmotek. Um, nice and safe. What may happen is we may have to declare war. That's another ecstatic legion guy, huh? Interesting. Don't really know where he came from. Or who he's fighting. Uh, right, so what we might have to do. Declare war on Boris. Uh, and also... Declare war on Azazel? Maybe? I think we might declare war on him. I did just move him further south, didn't I? Uh, I think we might declare war on Azazel. And take over this area and give it to the Skaven. Because it's the mountains, you know, the Skaven love mountains. Uh, so we also have Searing Branding Iron, so we can start actually upgrading this guy's army um, to corn stuff. I think we're going to upgrade these Marauders to to corn warriors, though. I think that makes more sense. And uh, we also get the upgrades Exalted Blood Letters, lovely. So a mark of corn burns his skin, a certain reminder of his rage. Too right. So, Karnath's sons, we need to wait for more allegiance. But, yeah. Okay, I think that's all good. Um, so, yeah, this army will be corn stuff and horrible mutations, which I know is more zinchy. It's a tough one with him being called Salt Thief, and I decided I want him to be corn-flavoured already. It's a real problem. I've got some conflict here. But then, you know, corn is nothing if not... Um, not corn. Chaos is nothing if not inconsistent. That's very on-brand. Alright, I don't know what these guys are doing, so I'm just going to go ahead and have this. Okay, this is mine now. Alright, stop being weird. And I'm going to occupy and vassalize. Alright, these guys are my vassals now. Uh, the Hellspire tribe. So I can start gifting these guys, yeah, all these settlements to Hellspire. Which... What? It's occupy and vassalize. When they already vassalized? Didn't we do that already? Or is this a slightly different Hellspire tribe? Because I know that can happen. <laughs> I know that can happen. Alright, let's have a look. Infernal Gateway. Let me get Arcane Conduit when we're done. Let's have a look, actually. Uh, so our vassals... Yeah, we've only got the one Hellspire tribe, so that did work out okay. But we do have another stronghold, whatever they're called. You know, another thingamajig. I can't remember they're called Dark Fortresses or something. You know, main settlement building. One we can actually build stuff in. 
So, do we have more upgrades to do as well? I feel like we must have more upgrades. Like, awaiting upgrade. Yeah, not even, not even our, the monolith of Got Rot, that I do need to change the name of, still. I do still need to change the name of that. Uh, I mean, I don't need to, I don't need to do anything, but I quite like to. I like to do it something Oleg flavoured. Um, something that, you know, hints at his roots. Someone came up with a couple of really great ideas for names broadly, but had nothing to do with Oleg. They just, I don't know, they didn't, they didn't seem to be any, any reflection of the campaign. They were just cool names. So, you know, fair enough. Like, we could name it something cool, but I, I do want it to be, to feel more, um, sort of relevant to, to Oleg. Uh, oh, that puts down Celeste Authority. Of course it does. Uh, this will help us get Nurgle upgrades, to get Teench upgrades. Oh, that will also give Aspiring Champions a barrier. That's awesome. I kind of want it just for that. Um, yeah, give us Slanesh upgrades. Gore Feast for Warhounds is pretty cool. Oh, Campaign Movement Range. Have I not done that yet? Let's do that first. Um, yeah, and then we'll get Barrier. Maybe. Um, cause fear for aspiring champions and undivided chosen units. That's pretty cool, too. In fact, a lot of this stuff is pretty cool. Allied recruitment cost down. I like that. When all the horsemen gain more experience, I guess that's okay. Let's get Chaos Chariots and Hell Striders. I do want some chariots at some point. Now, oh, there's Demon Mounts. That's really useful. That'll give us the, yeah, Gorby's Chariots, Doom Knights, and Skull Crushers. Frankly, all of this technology is really good. It's just all good stuff, guys. It's all good stuff. Alright, I think we're done. Uh, we're going to turn this off, I think. What are we? Am I going to make him corn-flavoured? Am I going to do that? I do want his army to be corn-flavoured. I think we go corn-flavoured. Alright, he's got a Chaos Steed now. Good. I mean, he already had one, but this is a new one. Look at him. Look at him. He's a stroppy boy. Aren't you a stroppy boy? Yes, you are. Here, you're so stroppy, you can shoot fire. Razor standard. Barbarian. Beast tamer. Why not? Actually, beast tamer, really, really on brand for, for Korn. Korn does love his monsters. Although, that's a bit sad. It's only the Chaos Warhounds and not the... Um, you know, the corn, corn hounds, whatever they're called. You know the ones. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that it doesn't include them. I think it should. I think it should. Alright, so we've got to kind of start again with his upgrades, but that's alright. Now. Wow. Where'd all my souls go? I just spent them all. I literally just spent them. Fine. <laughs> I'm really bad at the soul economy, aren't I? I just I just throw souls away. I know I'm running out of souls. I was there. I was there, game. Uh, can you do another quest battle? No, he can't. Although that's just because he's garrisoning. Does he need does he need movement? Alright, come on, we need more souls. Soul thief stole them all, which is very on brand, isn't it? Uh, so I can. I can go get the crown of domination. Oh, we don't want that one first, do we? We want the Eye of Shirian first. So, um, yeah, we get favor, blah de blah, hopefully some souls. Archeon has seen his own destiny revealed to him in the heretical manuscripts of Necrodomo the Insane, who tore out, so it wasn't actually, um, it's fair to say that he, Archeon didn't find out, uh, Sigmar Sykes lol from, from the Book of Sigmar. It's actually, actually the heretical manuscripts of Necrodomo the Insane, but... We know the truth, guys. So who tore out his eyes after having a vision of the destruction of the world at Archeon's hands? Mistaken identity. He thought it was Archeon. It was actually Oleg. They just, they were wearing the same armor. It's difficult to tell. And now, another vision held to him by a sorcerer under his thrall of mountains, twisted into fantastical shapes, with gaping moors jutting out of cliff faces, bellowing to be fed the flesh of mortals before it. A bloodstained plain, bordered by a forest of trees contorted into blackened skeletons, straining their branches towards warm-blooded creatures. In the tumultuous skies overhead, winged death swoops. A once noble ruler of the sky is now corrupt with change. A two-headed dragon of chaos trumpets its challenge. I mean, we did just fight a two-headed dragon, but that's fine. I'll fight another one. And he's got hell cannons. We are actually largely trying to um, get souls so we can continue our hell cannon recruitment drive so it yeah it makes sense 
Uh, we also have a uh, Death Cooler. Um, and Talagast Fester Heart. Great names. I love Chaos's names. They're so good. They're so over the top. They're so over the top. Let's fight them. At last, a worthy challenger comes. Not some weak minion sent by the gods. No, what confronts me is something more corrupt, more bestial. It serves no master, seeks no glory other than its own, and that I abhorred, even as I rip at its throats, for it must die! No man, no god, no creature can challenge me and live! That's such a high standard to, to keep. You know, no one who challenges me may live. Like, hey, Archeon, do you want to play chess? You may not live. Oh, oh, for God's sake, Archeon. Come on, man. I'm Oleg. And then he kills them for getting his name wrong. Who would he get a name wrong? Uh, so this is annoying, the Hell Cannons. I may need to just send the heroes in ahead of everyone else. Well, I guess not you. You're on foot. But um, let's send everyone else in. Because, yeah, I want to I get into these Hell Cannons. Early, I reckon. I reckon our heroes can fight like giants and trolls and everything else. Yeah, not a problem. And like, none of this stuff has a lot of armor piercing, except the trolls and the giant. But you know, the infantry doesn't. That's an interesting maneuver you're doing. Okay, it says four of them. I mean, I can actually get some work done with Spirit Leech. Spirit Leech tends to actually hit the um, the cannon itself, which is pretty awesome, to be honest. All right, I'm gonna bring these guys in. The distance it makes you tread. I think it's too far. Like I understand they want you to have to go towards the cannon fire, but we can't reach the cannon. You know, can't even reach it. All right, this should be pretty funny. Move him up and around. I mean, this seems like it's doing okay, but surprisingly, not as powerful as I thought it would be. Alright, up and around. All right, let's get you in down here. It's, uh, all right, giant is coming in. That's okay. Hmm, I should go for the giant instead. All right, let's buff everyone. Marvelous. All right, he's still having a good time. Oh, those cheeky little gits, they're still shooting. Rude. All right, are you guys still coming? They're still coming. All right, we are doing mad work to this guy, but so are these jerky jerk faces. Stop shooting me. I don't like it when they shoot me. It's annoying. All right, it seems like some of them are actually coming for me now. They weren't able to shut these guys down. I'm really impressed, actually, in how well they've held out. Like, I've had to use all my magic against them. They're still blasting away. What the heck? All right, see if we've got a fireball in there. I don't think it'll do anything. We'll see. Oh, brilliant. Fireball actually destroyed one of them. Good job, lad. Good job. All right, let's get you into there. That should do it. I always kill the giant, because, you know, it's just a giant. <laughs> nice. Good job, Archeon. Good job. And now the Swords of Chaos are here. Now they don't have to be scoured. Yeah, alright, all of our boys are just, um, cleaning up. 
Wasn't there supposed to be reinforcements? Or did I kill everything too too much? Am I too awesome? Is that what happened again? Alright, come on. Let's get rid of this hell cannon. I'm lasting for far too long. Yeah, you guys have fun over there. That's fine. Uh, stay on those trolls, I guess. I mean, you guys just mop up what you like. This is an absolute slaughter. Absolute slaughter. Because none of this stuff is going to hold for long. But, uh, yeah, annoying how the hell cannons blasting. God, even our spellcaster here. I mean, 115 armor would certainly help, but he's barely taken a scratch. It's good stuff. Oh, here we go. Here's some friends. Guys, you got some friends. So what is that? Dragon ogres. Kaha! He's calling death. That's what he's doing, guys. You all saw it. I do. I hit him with some spells. I think I do. I'm gonna hit some of my own men, but like the enemy is so clustered up here. And that didn't help us in any way. Just felt nice to give him a heads up. Can't even see him at the moment. Behind a hill. Alright, so yeah, these guys are toast. Let's get Archeon out here. Our exalted champion. Sorry. Yeah, exalted hero, rather. Exalted hero actually took a bit of damage. Actually took a bit of damage. Alright, let's get you out too. God, how are these hell cannons still in the bite? It's honestly astounding. Now these guys are almost set up. Exalted hero! Exalted hero! <laughs> Alright. Let's move over here. It looks like he's going to jump down. In which case, Arcane will be able to gank him too. Maybe not. He's going to get that breath attack on me, which I just have to accept. You know, that's, that's their lot in life, sadly. Alright, are you coming? Are you coming? Are you going to you gonna jump down? Are you going to jump down, little man? Yeah? No, I guess not. Alright, let's even get a... a nice close range Bible. I can't even bloody click on my guy. Oh, there we go. Alright, treason of Teach. Let's lower his leadership. Alright, let's kill everyone else. Is that going to break him? Would be very funny if it did. Okay, it looks like we did kill... Oh yeah, it looks like we are going to break him. Ah, didn't like the treason, did you? No, you didn't. Ah, <laughs> silly goose. Coward. Alright, let's hit these guys. Spirit Leech would probably be uh, more useful, honestly. Yeah, you keep chasing him. Or, should we get you to chase? Yeah, so you can shoot another fireball. <laughs> it's good times. Yeah, run away. Yeah, there we go. We're done. Uh, cool. Cool. We uh, we now own the Cliff of Beasts. We can put up, like, a, I don't know, like a tapestry or something of this guy running away. It'll be a big tapestry. It'll be a big chaos tapestry. There we go. Decisive victory. Alright, <laughs> brilliant. Let's get some souls. Because uh, we need those. That's why we did this. I mean, we're going to have a thousand souls from this battle, which is pretty good. Keep us going for a few more turns. Uh, and a big chunk of favour, too. Huge amount of favour. And some level ups. And, of course, we got a new eye. And a Chaos War Shrine for Mox here. Which means he won't be flying anymore, but he is on a Chaos War Shrine now, which I kind of like. So the Eye of Shirian, named after the Tsinchian Sorcerer who discovered it. The Eye sees nearly all. Its current owner should make use of its prophetic powers. I wonder if Archeon saw us coming. Uh, so we've got Barrier on Oleg now, so he can take 800 damage before he takes any damage, which is very cool. Uh, Tsinch Authority goes up by 2 for the army. Winds of Magic cost goes down for all spells, and enemy hero action. Success chance goes down by 10% because you can see him coming. We also just unlocked the Knights of Immolation, which is a very nice Tsinch themed bonus for our new Tsinchy eyeballs. So that's kind of fun. And the Knight of the Brazen Throne, Skull Crushers. Just because why not? 
And uh, there we go. So what does it... Yeah, we already looked at what it does. And uh, then we got our replenishment and the rest of it. So, yay. Good. Hooray for us. Uh, next stop. Let's get... I mean, let's get Searing Doom. And maybe Kindle Flame whenever he casts a spell. Everyone will get a fire weakness. Which may seem a bit rubbish, because we don't have a lot of fire spells. But it doesn't matter, because thanks to Harold Hammerstorm, our entire army does flaming attacks. Which means our entire army will be doing 20% more damage to everybody, which is awesome. I love that. Uh, every time Oleg casts a spell. 20% damage bonus for everyone. How great is that? That's so great. It's the greatest of great. I love it. I love it a lot. So, uh, 15 seconds as well. And we can, we can cast spells pretty quickly. I may just get more levels of Deseering Doom. We just spam that, and we just take forever to get to Arcane Conduit. Because I think just spamming those spells is better. Like, we keep running out of magic for a start. Which I guess means I should be rushing towards... Um... Yeah, I should probably be rushing <laughs> towards... Um... Uh, Arcane Conduit, really. But, oh well. Whatever. It's not like we're losing any battles. So we can have fun. Uh, oh, and you have level, another level up. Let's get Blade Master. Let's start getting you more fighty. Good lad. Now let's see. Uh, there he is. Perfect. Let's get you a reward. Uh, do we want just standard Chaos Warriors? I think we want one more Halberd, don't we? Yeah, I think we want one more Halberd unit. I've only got three. I want four, really, don't I? By the time we get to Chosen, I feel like I might just make everyone Chosen with great weapons, because I feel like like cheap enemies aren't going to be able to hurt us because we're Chosen. With that 60 melee defense and 157 armor, we're pretty much as like impossible to hurt as the Halberds are. And I don't think we necessarily need the anti-large, because we're still doing loads of armor-piercing damage. So, to me, it feels like, you know, yeah, your normal Chosen are basically just never die, and we'll just hack through things eventually. Chosen with great weapons kill things, on average, I'd say, the quickest. And then Chosen with halberds, obviously dedicated for cavalry, but they can also kill infantry eventually, just because infantry won't hurt them. Um, nothing can hurt them. They have 70 melee. Like, no, none of this stuff can be hurt by anything, really. So yeah, I might just split the difference and go chosen great weapons for everybody. May do that. Speaking of which, we actually do have some people that can be upgraded already. Wow. Okay. We actually have a few people that can be. I didn't even realize. <laughs> we can get four chosen. Oh boy. Yeah, am I going to go just chosen great weapons? I feel like the variety is nicer though. So maybe just some normal chosen, some halberds. It's just, it, it provides more tactical, I don't know, fun. I hate how bloody slow they are, though, 28 speed. I wish there was a way to speed them up. Alright, let's go... Yeah, let's go with the same template. I won't bother with the great weapons. I might go with a couple of them, for, like, the middle of our army. But yeah, I think we're going to go with a couple of chosen halberds. Like so. And then these guys I'm going to upgrade to regular chosen. Uh, yeah, and him. So there we go. We have our first four chosen. Which is awesome. And I think you can upgrade to aspiring champions whenever you like. Yeah. But uh, we don't want to. I don't want to do that. I want my chosen. That's terrifying. This is a terrifying army. It really is. I'm amazed we still have the Chaos Spawn and Nurgle. They have really stuck around. Alright, so speaking of sticking around, I've stuck around too long. Uh, we are at the end of this episode. Um, I still, so I still don't know what we're doing over here. I, I may very well declare war on these guys. Um, you know, we get rid of Azazel. Yeah, we, we wait for the replenishment. We declare war on his vassal. We take it over ourselves and gift it to the Skaven. These guys will eventually come into the mountains to chase us, and then we'll get them. All right, they'll be right where we want them. Maybe. We might just get beaten up by demons. I don't know, we'll see, but um, I am excited for what's coming. I'm enjoying this campaign a lot. Chaos is great. There's so much flavour. So anyway, guys, 
If you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. we come to tear down their nation, slay their kings, and ravage their mortal remains!